Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to this Team of the Season Adarees player review with me, Boy FIFA One HD. Before we get into the review, it would mean a great deal to me if you would hammer that like button below, hit the subscribe if you haven't already, and if you have any questions on Team of the Season Adarees or FIFA 16 in general, leave them in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer those for you. So, jumping right into his stats, and as you can see, his aggression, his attack positioning are very, very high. He's also got really good jumping, great reactions. Sprint speed isn't too bad, but his acceleration does let him down somewhat. But luckily, he does have really good stamina and really good strength. Moving on, ball control is superb. Dribbling and finishing, very, very good indeed. Heading accuracy there at 99 is insane. Good penalties, good long shot, shot power, etc. Also very good. Nice short passing as well, and volleys also very high. Three-star weak foot, three-star skills, which is okay, medium, medium work rates, and a load of specialities and traits, including poacher, aerial threat, distant shooter, strength, clinical finisher, complete forward, and the power header trait. So let's get into the main block of the review. So my thoughts on team of the season, Adarees, were that he was a very, very good striker indeed and worthy of his team of the season card. I'll start off with his clinical finishing, which is incredible. Obviously, it's one of the strongest areas on the card and for good reason, because this guy can finish pretty much any chance you put in front of him, whether it's close range, long range, a half chance, a good chance, you know. It doesn't really matter with Adarees, as long as you hold down shoot, you're probably going to do pretty damn well. He is that good in front of goal, finishing wise one on one sort of chances, very lethal, very clinical, but also from long range, he's got good shot power, really nice long shots as well, and obviously with a high finishing stat, very, very good from distance too. He's also pretty damn good on the old free kicks, even though the card may not suggest it somewhat. But I think with his incredible sort of shooting stats, he is actually pretty good on free kicks as well. Heading is another great way of getting goals with this card. He is so good in the air, which also means he's very good for hold-up play and for little flick-ons to other members of your team. Really good in that area too. His jumping is, is really good. So it's not just sort of the planted headers. He can also get up well. He challenges well. Even when he's coming up against really good solid centre backs who are good in the air also. He seems to always beat them whether it's like I said at a corner attacking it or winning a flick on for your other members of your team. He's always there. He's in good positions which is another bit that I've really loved. His attack positioning is absolutely bang on. Makes fantastic runs. Seems to always be in space and if he isn't in space his dribbling is actually pretty damn solid in fairness. You know, it's very neat and tidy, really crisp, you know, ball control's good. While his agility and balance aren't as good as some of the real skilled dribblers in the game, it's good for this sort of card. And what's really nice is that he's got the incredible strength to go along with it. So even if he is a little bit clumsier than maybe a few other really high dribbling sort of cards, he's got the strength to muscle off the guys, keep them away from the ball, and, and even win the ball himself. You know, he's very strong, which also helps, you know, with his sort of aerial battles that he'll be having, no doubt, for your team. Very good in that respect, too. Passing is neat and tidy. It's exactly what you want. He's more than capable of playing a very good through ball, playing, you know, nice little short passes. Uh, to get your team higher up the pitch. So, you know, that's that's a nice area, to be honest. The one thing that p will put people off, it's, it's unquestionable, is his pace. And, yeah, it's an improvement. It's a vast improvement on what was his, you know, sort of regular goal card. But it's still, you know, that sort of in-between pace would make him a pretty good cam, in all honesty. You know, that sort of level of pace, the good dribbling, shooting, etc., you know, and the physicality. I think he'd work very well in a midfield three or as a cam, etc. That sort of uh, the role could play very well for Adarees. But at the, at the same time, when you're buying a team of the season striker, you do sort of want to play him up top. And that is where you can definitely use him. I've had to give him 9 out of 10 because while there's a few things maybe that aren't perfect, overall he is still definitely a fantastic player to use within the game. So Adariz is currently going for around sort of 140 to 150k at the moment and that's a fair price as it is but I do see his price falling. I would wait until around Sunday, Monday when his price should hit about its lowest which I imagine to be around 100k, it might be a little bit more, might be a little bit less 
anything around that figure and I think you're getting an absolute bargain. He's a great team of the season striker. I hope you enjoyed the review guys. If you did, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe and peace. Oh my god, you've got a legend! Have I? I've got to! <laughs> I have no idea, but really. Oh, Are any yeah. of these. Who is this guy? This card looks interesting. Oh! Stop with this card looks interesting! Go to the <laughs> fucking front! <laughs>